Welcome back, guys, to Final Fantasy 16. We're last episode. Leaving Martha's rest as the people dealt with their wounded and heading to Glademont Abbey, we first bumped into an injured Martha on the road before arriving at our destination. There we saw the resident bearers slaughtered before the perpetrators, the Black Shields, met their end at our hands. After fighting our first notorious mark, the Ahriman, we performed the casting for those that had died before then returning to Martha's Rest to report what had happened. Finding a quest, the white-winged wonder that sent us off to find a flock of hunted chocobos, reuniting Clive with his steed, Ambrosia. Having discussed our next move back at the hideaway, new quests now await. Won't be long now, Martel. They'll try your apple soon enough. Will they? See, I, I am, uh, was open to speak to you. Is everything all right? Oh, yeah, it's just, well, as you know, we've been trying to grow fruit down here. It's good to know that something of the old hideaway still lives on. Martel's pride and joy. It was a sapling when she rescued it from the rubble, but look at it now. All our hard work's finally paying off. I took it on, you see, after she, well, after she died, and now the fruit's finally ready to eat. And not only is it ready, it's actually tasty. Sweet as you like, in fact. She bred the bitter right out of it. Impressive. And welcome news to more than a few, I'd say. I thought this first harvest could go to the Curse Breakers, on account of all they do for the hideaway. You couldn't take them some, could you? Seems better them coming from you. It'll be nice being the bearer of good news for a change. Oh, thank you. She always had a soft spot for that lot, see? And once they've had their share, I'll see to it that everyone else gets some. Here you go. Martell apples, they're called, in honor of her memory. You hear that, Martell? Today's finally the day. Right, you got a difficult process ahead of you here, to be perfectly fair, in fixing all that stuff up. So was I understand it with, like, fruit-bearing trees? Now, correct me if I'm wrong, because I most likely am. If you were to plant the seed of an apple from that, it wouldn't actually come out with the same kind of apple at all, necessarily, taste, etc. What they do is they transplant the branches of a fruit-bearing tree onto uh, other saplings so that it grows in that way, something along those lines? I just wonder how one tree that they bred that out of can then be transplanted. How many trees can that be transplanted onto? Today. It smells like Is that just how the modern stuff works? Well, our stuff works, but maybe not how their world trees do. I don't know. I'd have to look that up more rather than just saying. That's why I'm just saying, never take... What anyone says in a let's play, a stream or anything, as gospel. Especially when they cannot cite their sources, right? I can't go out that way. Oh. I mean, is there something new to read here? There is. The re a bird by any other name. Forgive my insistence on writing you these silly letters, with that we had more time to speak to each other in person, but for every day we spend together it feels as though we must suffer another two apart. I am glad to hear of your most unexpected reunion with Ambrosia. Should I say Whiteheart? You told me once how your chocobo sacrificed herself to protect you that night at Phoenix Gate, and here so many years later we find she has spent her life doing that exact same thing, defending others. Some things never change, do they, Clive? Weren't you there, Jill? <laughs> I'm confused now. Oh, man, that's not the way to get to there, is it? <laughs> Look at me hopping around instead of opening doors as usual. I feel better. The world is at right, Snail. The world is at right. Alright, side quest. Apples. Of course, we've really got to figure out <laughs> memory for this place. We just got used to the old hideaway, after all. Didn't mean to go. You two look like you could use something to eat. Here. Courtesy of Martel. 
A basket of Martell apples grown and picked by Cormac for sample by Hideaway residents. Martell. Now, where have I heard that name before? Weren't she the girl from the furrows? Of course she was. <laughs> An odd sort, that one. Loved plants more than people. <laughs> Aye, and brave as a bane might. Remember when she ran back into the hideaway to collect them trees when Titan attacked? Wait. These aren't those apples, are they? Well, I'll be. She'd have been proud, and rightly so. Thank you, Sid. Others weren't so lucky, though. Mm. Them old apples were enough to curdle your gut. <laughs> But these beauties are as sweet as you like. I'll have to pay the boys down in the backyard a visit to tell them thanks. A gift from the backyard. For your service. Blimey, these take me back. I haven't seen a hideaway apple since. Yeah. Old Sid was the only one who could stomach the things. <laughs> He'd nab them right from the branch, made Martell livid. Not that anyone could stay mad at the man for long. That sounds like the Sid I knew, all right. Planning on keeping that lot to yourselves, were you? Hang on. These aren't Martells, are they? I'm glad to see someone carried on what she started. Can't have been easy, not in the Deadlands. Reckon she'd be happy knowing all her hard work didn't go to waste. Clyde, tell the lad down in the backyard to run some over for me, will ya? <sighs> not so much as a thank you. Well, I've got some manners at least. Thanks, Sid. You can leave the basket with me. I'll see that the others get their share. Oh. And, uh, give our compliments to the gardener, won't you? That was the last of the apples. I should head to the backyard and pass along everyone's regards. Well, I want to check the board. Why you take me away from it? The view out there. Water, water, water. I hear there's trouble. The seamstress really isn't... Completely engaged with this trouble. Doesn't matter our rank, doesn't matter that we're Sid, doesn't matter that we're the boss now. Everyone got used from the get go for telling us what we could do and then we just go do it, so why would they stop? Side quest? The curse breakers send their thanks. And their compliments. They were clearly very fond of Martell. They remembered her. A after all these years. I suppose she was very kind. Even to a tongue-tied lummox like me. You were one of the good ones, Martell. Why did you have to die? She put everything into her work. She wasn't going to rest until we had fruit sweet enough to enjoy. And now we do. When she died, I named a sapling after her. And now it's a full-grown tree. Martell lives on through the fruit it bears. And through you. Her dream would have died with her, had you not kept it alive. That's something to be proud of. I... oh, I didn't do anything, really, but... Thank you. You're kinder to me than I deserve. By the way, Otto's expecting some of your crop. And I wouldn't mind some of it either, if that's not too much to ask. Of course not. I'll see that you're both well provided for. They like your fruit, Martell. Isn't that wonderful? I'd say it's about time we planted you some siblings, don't you think? Yes. You need to get on that. Well, I'm not sure how well one tree will provide. I guess I don't know enough about them to 
displayed in Clive's chambers another memory found. A basket of slightly stunted, somewhat sweet apples grown from the blighted earth thanks to the dedication and perseverance of one woman, Martel. May she rest in peace. Still, we'll grow something worth eating one of these days, and when we do, you'll have first pick. Just look at her. Isn't Martel in fine fettle? And what about young Poppy Mill here? He's got some work to do if he wants to catch up with his brother, Kenneth. <laughs> I was wondering where Bobby Mill was as well. Prince Kenneth, what? <laughs> this tongue here pulls the black from the lake water and renders it clear. You'll have to ask Mid if you want to know how it works, though. So. <laughs> cool. Who's... Mid. Are you mid? <laughs> the foundation of the Valisian botany. More bold tendrils. After excising from the trunk, dry for three to five turns of the sun until brittle to the touch. Grind in mortar and add to warm curl milk to remedy gout, melancholy, and moon sickness. Caution recommended when harvesting as the host may grow disquieted. Experimental record of Bohemil, the head botanist. Mixed equal parts first rate vineyard humus from Goldland's bells with deadland soil. Of the six cuttings planted therein, two survive to flower, only to wither and die within a senite. Even amalgamated with the finest imperial loam, the blighted earth is still affecting a nutritional deficiency. It might be remedied with some further source of nourishment, saltpeter or potash, or the dung of a racing chocobo. This shall be the subject of my next round of experiments. <laughs> Specifically a racing chocobo. Only the finest. <laughs> Pedigree chocobo poo. They call them chocobos in this. <laughs> and I'm sure they've said it chocobo before. And I was like, oh, come on. <laughs> flower. Can we decide on one way to say it? So I know what the true way of saying it is. Changes game to game now. Off limits. That means me. Ah. I need definitives. Choo chukabo. Sure. No. Now speaking of goats, locks. Where are you at? Well, let's ask you first. It's interesting because. It's a Moogle with a Mandragora kind of icon. Onion, night, you know, different types. Live there you are, Kupo. I've been looking all over for you. What's the matter, Nectar? The matter is this, Kupo. The hunt board. It's where the curse breakers post sightings of particularly fearsome beasts. Those that might pose a threat to our operations if they were left to roam free. Just because they can't be dealt with when they're spotted, doesn't mean they can't be dealt with later. Was that what you wanted to know? Of course not, Kubo. I knew all that already. And that's why I need your help. As I need not remind you, Kubo, I am the mightiest of all the Moogles. No fiend the forest or ghoul of the greensward can measure up to Nectar the Bold, Kubo. I won't allow it. So I need you to slay them all, Kubo. I knew he was going to speak really fast. But he's not voiced. Right. Well, leaving your mightiness aside for the moment, the people of Valisthea are going through a lot already. What with the blight and the war. The last thing they need is ungodly fiends terrorizing them on top of everything else. So if the curse breakers are too busy to help, then perhaps I can. Or at least I can try. Oh, thank you, Kupo. It's so good to have found someone who understands me, Kupo. I'll stay here then and keep an eye on all the billets that get posted on the board. So if there's anything you need to know, Kupo, I'm your Moogle. Sure. Is the Final Fantasy 14 hunt icon, is it not? I wouldn't know. Uh, obviously, I have done a couple of 100... B-class monster hunts every so often. Like three, maybe four times. But when you could go on a hunt train and get nuts galore, why would you ever interact with a hunt board a little bit? It's kind of the issue. Just, just a bit. Just a tad. Hunt trains. Boom. Got my cap. Yeah. Job done. 
Did you see that the curse breakers give every bullet a rank of riskiness, Koopo? And this thing could kill you with a single swipe to a seven nation army you couldn't scratch this thing's skin. Well, I'm sure you'd be fine, Koopo, but not sure, but that's one risk I'm willing to take. Oh, it didn't get didn't get marked off. The curse breakers don't just tack up any old rooms to this board, you know. They'll take great pains to verify every little detail, Koopo. So don't you go letting all of their hard work go to waste, Koopo. Don't you let me, I mean them, down. Did you see that all the billets are marked with a location, Kuvo? That's where the horrible horror in question was seen. But you can't be expected to memorize every last place name in the whole wide realm. You're only human, Kubo. So the place name doesn't tingle your pom-pom, Kubo. Try reading the witness statements. Sometimes there are other details in them that might to help you track down the nasties and finish them off. Ah, there was three dialogues. That's precisely what you see before you, Kubo, the hunt board. The curse breakers note down the details of any particularly dangerous monsters they hear about or encounter in the course of their duties, Kubo. Um, Okay, noise. And post the minutes here, Kubo, so that any stout soul who wishes to do the realm of service might set out to slaughter an ungodly horror or two, which is where you come in, Kubo. As for me, I have the most important duty of all, painting a big red cross over each and every one you cut down, Kubo, so that everyone can sleep at night knowing that the realm is a safer place. Nectar's Adventures. <laughs> Did I ever tell you about the time I visited the Great Continent, Koopo? I don't think so. Of course I didn't, because I've never been, Koopo. Look at these wings. Do they look like the sort that might carry a Moogle across countless leagues of open sea? They call me Nectar the Bold, not Nectar the Stupid, Koopo. Fair news, that's exactly what I said about courage in another game. And then people were just like, no, you're a coward. It's like, I'm not dumb. The Hunt Board. Reports of fiends terrorizing the countryside are posted to the Hunt Board in hopes that fearless heroes such as Clive will take it upon themselves to hunt down and slay the notorious marks. You're already dead. Ariman, a member of the Blood Axis station at Martha's Rest, reported that he had been set upon the marshes by an otherworldly horror with a single staring eye. It flew at him on bony bat's wings, scratching at him with claws black as night and sharp as razors. Naturally, he fled in terror, but if a battle hardened Blood Axe cannot cope with the mere sight of such a creature, what hope do the rest of us have? Must have the Angel of Death. A trader coming by the way of Care Norvent met with a troop of curse breakers traveling in the opposite direction and warned them of a wicked winged harpy on the road ahead, his eyes wild and flickering. Although the curse breakers saw nothing untoward on their own journey through their past, the sound of cackling laughter from the trees ensured that they kept up a brisk pace. So no one knows what that one looks like, then the Angel of Death. <laughs> We got Belfagor here as a B rank. Reports have been received of a wild avis of striking size, making its nest atop the hill adjacent to Eastpool. Though all efforts are being made not to rouse the beast's ire, it is surely but a matter of time before it needs to feed. I hereby petition any brave volunteers to march to the northern border, that we might cut the fiend down before it makes trenches, trenchers of the nearby villages. So that's where we fought that uh, Wivir, or whatever it was. That's just somewhere near... Or well, more to the point, is very much at Clairview. What's a B rank versus a C rank in terms of actual level? That would be the information I'd want. What level are our opponents? Fancy a look at the list, do you? Yeah. How are you doing, Goat? Ah, oh, same old. In it. Oh, it's got me reading through the reports coming in from my allies and picking out what problems need dealing with now and what can be saved for later. It was still early days back in the old place, so I could just about handle the job myself. Stay at the world now, though, I need D's help to sift through it all. And that's just the sifting. Actually solving any of these problems is a whole other headache. The curse breakers take the urgent stuff, but we're still stuck waiting for volunteers to handle the rest. So, uh... If you ever find yourself at a loose end, well, you know where to find me. How the past five years... <sighs> So much has happened since that night. Feels like a lifetime ago. But we'll never forget those who didn't make it. Kenneth, Martel, they're still with us in our hearts. Seed. When I found out he was gone, I thought that was it for us. He's still with us too. With us and in you. You took his name and gave us hope when we had none. So I suppose what I'm trying to say is, don't be a stranger, eh? A hideaway ain't nothing without it, Sid. Anything catch your eye? Supposedly, we have done the quest for Think now. Can help? What about you? Oh, Clive, welcome to the Patron's Whisper. The Patron's Whisper? Does that mean someone else is taking care of our friends' donations? Oh, no, that's still me. It's just K 
Karen has her toll, Blackthorn has his hammer, I thought a new name might liven things up. I still catalogue every item that arrives, in addition to setting aside those tokens of appreciation the sender has specified are to be presented to you personally. Would you like to see if we have any? Uh, sure. Well, let's talk about you first. Business is busy. On top of my regular duties here at the Whisper, Otto was piled countless other tasks from transcribing and sorting Stola's reports to penning needful missives. Not that I'm complaining, mind. I enjoy writing. I have ever since I learned my letters from Jawa back in the old hideaway. I won't claim to have been his best students, though. That honor goes to Shirley. Still. I'd like to think Jawa would be proud of me, too, were he with us today. Words are immortal. I live on in others, and if the words are your own, so too will you. Do you know who told me that? It was Jara, in our last lesson before Titan came. He stayed with me ever since his passing and inspired me to become what I am today. <sighs> I imagine we survivors all have a story like that, of someone who remains with us even though they're gone. Come to claim your just desserts. So, the patrons whisper, completing side quests will earn Clive renown. That's the green stuff. Inspiring nameless benefactors from across the twins to donate money or items to Clive's cause. Visit Desiree at the patrons whisper in the hideaway's mess to view current renown level and accept any donations available. So, you don't spend it, you just get stuff. 400 ability points for talks of the tea house. Your merry band of outlaws and its dashing deeds of daring do all the talk amongst the ladies of the court. We have gathered together several items of worth that you might continue your gallantry. It's quite a nice amount of stuff, too. I accept you your are. donation. Except then I'll find out it's like some kind of... From someone who's done bad things and then it all becomes complicated. Our order is one built on pride, but that does not mean we are too proud to give thanks where thanks is due. We may have failed Martha once, but never again. The blood axes give us a meteorite. Next one is at 85 and gets us a berserker ring. I'm at 65 currently. The only way to get there from now is to do the hunts by the look of it. Best of luck out there, Sid. How are my ability points looking? I've not gone to that menu today. Our next areas. Oh, there you shall. In fact, everywhere else is locked off. <laughs> Fair news then. Not going to go any hunt any marks then, am I? No doing that yet. No, uh -uh. You thought you could go somewhere else? <laughs> Pool of fool. You will go where we tell you to. Oh, yeah, it looks like a... That looks like a ridiculously good ability. Damage and defense. But first of all, to be perfectly fair, I might just continue to... This is this is mastering this. Okay, so the detail of that is allows assignment to any icon. So we can pimp someone a little bit more, I guess, by giving them that. So really what I should master, if I want to get like an Ifrit ability, because we can only have Ifrit abilities with Finger, either I master an ability from Ifrit straight out, or I... Well, I'll just get this. Seems pretty good. But what I should do is I should master... Heat Wave? So I will spend none in there because I don't have enough money now. No! Or I could master that, I guess. I could put like... <laughs> I don't quite... I, it's weird, but I'm not quite, like, liking the idea of Ramu's abilities at this point in time. <laughs> I quite like a little bit more about other people, like... <sighs> Rook's Gambit is ace. Let's just face it that way. It is really good. The counter abilities are great. I hope that the upgrade, the mastery, also gave us a bit more damage as well, to be honest. But it might have just allowed us to put it on any other thing. Without a ship to carry it there, Drake's breath might as well be on the moon. What about active time law? Well, to be Mathers honest. Right. Yep. Others weren't so lucky, though. I feel like I've been learning enough from just talking to people. So I haven't really wanted to go into it and read it, to be perfectly fair. Especially when some of the topics haven't even shown up yet. Well, we could look at the crystalline impasse. <laughs> you see, it's a bit weird to read about something before we actually get there. 
A conflict fought between the Holy Empire of Sembrek and the Republic of Dalmechia in the year 878, largely concerning control of the crystalline dominion. The dominion had previously been the subject of a non-aggression pact between the Valosphian nations, but in 873, the empire claimed to incite for its new capital, an act which eventually spurred the Dalmechs into military action. See what I mean? We, we, knew, we know this. So there's like some bits like, I'm just like, why go to it? Because we are actually being told what we need to know. And that's how I expect it to be. This is for, like, refreshers on people, for the most part, if they forgot about something or they go away from the game a bit. By the way, established under the leadership of Clive Rosfield, who took on the title of Sid after his former leader's passing and Titan's destruction of the Hold Hideaway, here a community of like-minded individuals from across the realm has gathered to build a place where people can live and die on their own terms. Like its predecessor, it is built within fallen ruins deep within the Deadlands of Central Storm. Decidedly unlike its predecessor, however, it is located in the center of Lake Benomir, across whose waters any invading enemy can easily be spotted long before their arrival. So yeah, we're just getting information of stuff that we've got information about. So I haven't really felt the urge to go and check it out. Your uncle always seemed a kindly soul, if a little eccentric. Well, shall we go? I can only go there after all. <laughs> no hunting things for me. From these heathered highlands, one might catch a glimpse of Rosliff Castle and then everything else in between. The Hawk's Cry Cliff is where we're going next. Do you think it was wise to leave, Gav? He didn't seem pleased. I needed his eyes and nose in Dalmechia. I'm not about to let Kupka take us unawares. Besides, he has a knack for that sort of thing. That he does. And wasn't it Sid who said that matters such as these are best left to dominance? Especially should one of his beloved opportunities to grow and change present itself. I always knew that I would return one day. Return to Ironhome. For what? After learning the truth, you were given the chance to face your past. If I am to continue at your side, I must do the same. face it together then to the end come on how far do you think your mother's reach extends Will we find the same tragedy in the south as we did at Martha's Rest? More than likely. Which is why we should hurry. There are still many settlements between here and Port Isolde. We visit as many as we can and hear their stories. Starting with the village of Amber. Looks like we've got a lot of exploration in front of us then. How's the map looking here? Cliff Edge here. We're still in it. Well, we're in this area as a whole. We're just over the bridges that are down. Oh no, monster! <laughs> Kinda hoping it would kill the other one. Enough. <laughs> the electrocutions did. <laughs> All right, well, let's check out the outside areas. I probably haven't been diligent enough at finding treasure chests here, there, and everywhere as it is, but... Bye, Bluebird. You're in my way just a little bit. 
I guess. Yeah, I can ride my Chocobo again. Uh, let's uh, check out most of this area first. This really is an issue of finding treasure chests, though. <laughs> They don't stand out as much as we'd like them to. I guess the main reason I don't, like, jive with Ramu, though, is just because I feel like the circle ability ain't that great. Versus grab and pull them towards you, or dash towards them. It's over. Two incredibly useful ability for like flying enemies and all of that. But we barely, barely scratched the surface of what it can do and really looked at what can be done with it. So it's probably more a case of just I got comfortable with the base abilities we did have. <laughs> I'm guessing all this magic usage is fun. <laughs> it's funny, there's magic usage in the context of the story, then there's magic usage in the context of the game, isn't there? None of this counts. <laughs> Don't tell me we might stop at this place and then just keep continuing on this way, though, to be perfectly fair. I might want to just check out this weird lip section. <sighs> Oh, that didn't hit. There's going to be a treasure chest anywhere. It's probably there. Gooping Torgo! Hello, monsters, jump on me now. What's this? Uh, whatever it is, I'm not allowed to interact with it, but it's definitely a thing. <laughs> Sam goes, what's this on the map? This looks interesting. Of course it's something interesting. It's just something that's not interesting now. Denied. It's a vibe. Well, the one was this. I'm running way past Ember, if that's the place that we're going to. Well, I guess maybe some of the monsters are cleared out. If we go back that way. I'm sure this blue bird won't get angry about me walking past. Land. I made sure to go behind it so it didn't see me. Does running from them work? I tried to leave so you could live. Now your clock gets to die for your issues here.
Torkoal ate one chocobo. That is a bad flock leader. Bad. Mockery of justice is what it is. Lord Elwyn would never have stood for this. Quiet, you! Nothing but loyalists. Jill, look. Rosaria must be cleansed of the stain which befouls her, that she might rise once again from the ashes to welcome a new dawn. <laughs> Twould be a pity to make examples of you all for the transgressions of but a handful. Of course, your lordship. You shall have our full cooperation. Business could the Black Shields have in a village this small? There is barely room to hide a bearer. Then they must be here for something else. You fancy dancing a gallows jig like the Miller's son? All right, I heard you the first time. Stay quiet, eh? Welcome, stranger. Safer than not. Cobalt tassels. Increases limit break generation amount by 6% but taking damage. That's the same thing we've seen before. Night Terror's Orchestrian Roll. Shall I spend my 20,000 on this? I might need it for something. What can I sell at this point when I think about it? I mean, Goblin Coins are valuable, can be traded for gill. Same with the Black Blood. We've got 26 of them and they go for... Oh, is this where all my money's been? I don't know if I want to sell them all or not. When it I'll says can be traded for gill, though, means that I probably can get more. I reckon that's fair. Same with the goblin coins we've been finding. They sell for a lot. I'll find it at good home. The rest is using crafting, so of course we're not selling that. Well, okay, I've made a little bit of extra money. Maybe I can just purchase... Uh, I'll purchase your question roll. Much obliged. I suppose we won't be seeing you again. No, oh, no, now that I've bought the equestrian roll, you won't be seeing me again at all. <laughs> you are right. Excuse me, but what was all that about earlier? You haven't heard? Someone's been stirring up trouble. There have been attacks on the garrison, supplies stolen. They even say a black shield was murdered. The Empire wants answers, and what the Empire wants, Empire gets. Don't they just? Keep your ears open, eh? The Black Shields will pay good coin for information on the culprits. You'd have to be dull as a sack of stones to think you could take on the Empire. What with their hundred full legions? Hundred? I heard it were a thousand. So the number grows bigger, doesn't it, Belork? The number grows ever bigger all the time. Hello? There was a time my husband might have stood up to those men. Though back then, he wouldn't have needed to. Don't mind if I take your chest, do you? Where's your husband now? This is where we just find the Night Terror's orchestra and roll. For outlaws. How do you like that, boy? I don't think your dog's very good at tracking down outlaws, considering I'm standing right here. Two more left to join the garrison this very morn. Uh, at this rate, there'll be none left to help with the harvest. Word is, poor Isolde's closed her gates to all but the Highborn, and now a great camp sprung up along the walls. You seen him, didn't you? I'm sorry. The Black Shields. Just now. You seen him, didn't you? At least I think they was the Black Shields. Can't say I ever saw one before. Was this the first time they visited the village? Well, what do you think? 
Amber's the arse end of nowhere. And they thought we might be harboring firebrands. <laughs> if only we were. I might have turned him in and become a black shield myself. You don't think these firebrands the Empire is looking for could be us, do you? I don't know. How'd you get it? But we need to find out. I take it! Where those knights want, Father? I told you to stay in the house. Go on! They mean deliberately the removal of the, uh, the brand, yeah? Maybe? Run along now. Before one of the boys starts thinking you're something you're not. Taking their money, really. One treasure chest at a time. Don't mind my weird approach to you, sir. Or ma'am, I don't know. I'm just stealing your chests. Greetings, friend. We are travelers. I know that. What do you want? We couldn't help noticing those Imperial soldiers who were here earlier. Don't you go telling these strangers a thing. I speak for the people of this village, and we have nothing more to say to you. You are to leave Amber and never come back. May I at least ask why? I don't know who you are or what brings you here, but your presence puts us all in grave danger. The Empire is a harsh master. Its demands are great, and it's just as swift. But as long as we keep our heads down and pay our tributes, we are left alone. Some might call it submission. But if it will spare my people the Viceroy's wrath, then I will gladly submit. This village will not become another East Pool. Then we shall be on our way. These people live with a knife to their throat. In the mistaken belief that if they cooperate, my mother will show them mercy. Obedience bought with fear. Are you all right? Sorry, I... It's nothing. We still don't know who the Black Shields are looking for. Well, whoever they are. The Imperials deem them worth pursuing to the back of beyond. But other than Martha, who else in Rosari would have the courage to stand against the Empire? A new ally would certainly be welcome. Can we find them before the Imperials do? Perhaps the next village will yield more answers. Perhaps. Where to go to it? <laughs> Ah, so there was uh, two routes to go to by the look of things. We may as well go along the shallop rock route now. If I go back, will it actually say you can't go back through? He did tell us to leave after all. No, oh, we could just... Uh, hey! Look around you. We cannot afford to lose any more than we already have. Please. Leave I get ya. I'm curious about what's down here. I didn't go all the way down after all. There's a dragon of some variety. Hanging out. Hey, you got to respect the fact that they don't want to become another East Bull after all. And they're just trying to toe the line a little bit. This pass will take us through the mountains. And directly into the path of whoever or whatever lurks here. That's fun. Uh, they're just out and about now. What the crap? Are they always like this? Ever since the Apollo tree, we've seen more and more of these. Thanks. What do you think is waking them? The mother crystals collapsed. I have an idea. Like 
That worked quite well, that one then. Thanks for giving us a reasoning as to why these things are out and about right then and there. It's pretty good. It probably has a top up of information about that right here now. Maybe, maybe not. Ah, you see, like it's trying to tell us some stuff. No. That's the problem with this. You just can't look at it. Might be told more than you want to know. I did a fair bit more damage than I expected, actually. Well, having six cooldown abilities versus just one is always going to be good. Who are these dudes? Oh, you. More of my mother's men. <laughs> you think you're going to get to cast a spell? I've got news for you, buddy. It's over. Wow. Mum needs to pay attention to what she's hiring. We got one bomb. Watch out, it might explode. Now we got it. <laughs> Missed. <laughs> it's fine. I was just doing some fancy flips before we kicked him. What's this? Bullhorn. Bull's horn braid. So we've currently got the defensive increase one. Bull's Horn Braid is increases lunge damage by 5%. Yes, going into the big open area was more lucrative than going through the small wiry area by a mile. I would have never expected it. If this was Zelda, I'd be like, what's that Talus doing here? Do you know what I mean? 